Come on, Twilight. You can do it. Okay, here goes. <laughs> Hello, Rarity. What's that? Oh, it's nothing. Just my awesome mustache. <laughs> Sorry, Romeo. 25, Twilight. 25 different kinds of tricks and counting. I thought unicorns were only supposed to have a little magic that matches their special talents. True. I'm sure there are lots of ponies right here in Ponyville that know just as much magic as me. Are you kidding? I don't think there's another unicorn in all of Equestria with your kind of ability, Twilight. Yay! Yeah, yeah! They say that she's got more magical powers than any other unicorn ever! Really? Oh, no way! That honor goes to Twilight here. Come on, come all! Come and witness the amazing magic of the great and powerful Trixie! Magic ever witnessed by Pony Eyes! My, my, my. What boasting? Come on. I was around showing it off like a school filly with fancy new ribbons. Just because one has the ability to perform lots of magic does not make one better than the rest of us. Especially when you got me around being better than the rest of us. Hey, Sayers in the audience. Who is so ignorant as to challenge the magical ability of the great and powerful Trixie? Twilight here is... Spike, shh. What? What's wrong? You see the way they reacted to Trixie? I don't want anyone thinking I'm a show-off. Powerful Trixie has magic strong enough to vanquish the dreaded Ursa Major! The great and powerful Trixie stepped in and with her awesome magic vanquished the Ursa Major and sent it back to its cave deep within the ever-free forest. In Ponyville. No, in all of Equestria. How do you know? You didn't see it? And besides, Twilight... Mm -hmm. Don't believe the great and powerful Trixie? <laughs> well then, I hereby challenge you, Ponyvillians. Anything you can do, I can do better. Please! She's unbearable! You gotta show her! He just gotta! <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna use my magic now, Spike. Hmm. Is there anything you can do that the great and powerful Trixie can't? I... I... Well, little hayseed... That's it! <laughs> Like that. Oh, that's my job. When Trixie is through, the only thing they'll call you is loser. with a dash of good sense would think twice before tussling with the great Trixie. Unicorn <laughs> <laughs> to unicorn tussle. Uh, enough. Enough, all of you. I take your hint, but Rarity is above such nonsense. Rainbow Dash and Applejack may behave like ruffians, but Rarity conducts herself with beauty and grace. You may think you're tough with all of your so-called powers, but there is more to magic than your brutish ways. A unicorn needs to be more than just muscle. Rarity won't let Trixie get the best of her. She's strong, she's beautiful, she's... <gasps> it's green. What? <gasps> no! Green hair! Not green hair! <gasps> Such an awful... What do you mean? I'm nothing special. Yes, you are! You're better than her! I'm not better than anyone. <laughs> you think you're better than the great and powerful Trixie? The mill citizen of Ponyville. No powerful magic here. I, uh, I think I hear my laundry calling. Sorry, gotta go. Twilight? This old smoothie last for with extra hay. Oh, tell us another story, great and powerful Trixie. Yeah, tell us about how you vanquished the Ursa Major. Uh, 
Trixie is far too exhausted. Trixie. Anything you say, we are at your beck and call. <sighs> what are you two doing? She's just a show off. Unlike Twilight, who... The great and powerful Trixie vanquished an Ursa Major. Can your Twilight claim that? Oh, really? Look, unless an Ursa Major comes waltzing up the street for Trixie to vanquish, I am not gonna believe a word she says. And neither should you. Mm. Uh, uh, oh, come on! Twilight, won't you put down that book and just listen to me? Stand up for your friends. No, Spike, it's exactly the same. Come on, Twilight, any one of these tricks, even the teeniest, would be enough to show up Trixie. I don't want to be seen as a bragger like Trixie. And fun. Oh, how are we gonna find an ocean major when I can't even see my own hoof in front of my face? Hold on! Ursa <laughs> made you to be exact! The great and powerful Trixie did not want to be disturbed. Uh, we we have a, a tiny problem. Actually, it's a big one. Uh, is that what I think it is? Majorly. Great and powerful Trixie, you've got to vanquish the Ursa. Yeah, vanquish so we can win. Hey. Now remember, you defeated an Ursa Major! Uh, okay. Oh, come on, Trixie! Stop goofing around and vanquish it, eh? Come on! Where's all the cool explosions and smoke and stuff like earlier, you know? Uh-oh. vanquish an Ursa Major. I just made the whole story up to make me look better. Made it up! up. to Betsy. We knew you had ability, but not that much. I'm sorry. Please, please don't hate me. Oh, whoa, whoa. Magic's got nothing to do with it. Trixie's just a loudmouth. Most unpleasant. All hat and no cattle. So, you don't mind my magic tricks? We're even prouder. You are? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wow, Twilight! How'd you know what to do with that Ursa Major? That wasn't an Ursa Major. It was a baby. An Ursa Minor. That was just a baby? And it wasn't rampaging. It was just cranky because someone woke it up. Aww. You don't want to know. Huh. You may have vanquished an Ursa Minor. Just let her go. Maybe someday she'll learn her lesson. Now, about you two. Uh, <laughs> well, we're sorry that we woke up the Ace of Minor. We deserve whatever punishment you give us. For starters, you can clean up this mess. And, what do you think, Spike? You're right. Sweet! 
part of who I am. My friends help me realize that it's okay to be proud of your talents, and there are times when it's appropriate to show them off, especially when you're standing up for your friends. Uh, she didn't go for the mustache. You know, Spike, that mustache has nothing to do with who you really are. Maybe you should just try being yourself. Nice long Fu Manchu type beard. Or maybe a goatee. Oh, no, a soul patch.